Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Galvin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my videos uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. What? I upload my videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you're interested in that, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more content like this. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gave, except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Gave Official. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hi there, everybody. How are you guys doing? Whatever you are right now. Whatever you are, wherever you are right now. Blah. Wherever you are right now, whatever time zone you're watching me right now, just wish you good morning, good afternoon, and good night, just in case I don't get to see you. Yes, another Wednesday of nursing discussion nga ang ko sa inyo for today. And kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung entry natin, yung lecture natin nung Monday, nako, panoorin mo na siya, ililink ko yung um, video na yung kasama nung playlist. At nung iba pa mga playlist course on nursing John the description box please make sure that you subscribe you check the one out and use it because that's all for you for free kaya naman gamitin mo siya ngayon alam ko na marami sa inyo naghahanda ngayong darating na uh, Philippine Nursing Licensure Examination siya Philippine Nursing Licensure Examination ngayong I think November if I'm not mistaken so ito Tulong ko sa inyo lahat sa para magpunyagi kayo talaga namang maging successful ka ngayong darating na examination mo sa nursing. Now, PNLE 1 Foundation of uh, Professional Nursing Practice Funda. Fundamentals of Nursing ang alay ko sa inyo for today. 10 board exam type of questions na maaaring lumabas ngayong darating na board exam. Handa ka na ba? Handa na. Let me proceed with the actual discussion. Let me share to you our objectives. Well, we only have two objectives every time we do a nursing test banking video. One, I will be providing and discussing to you board exam type of questions. And then I'm going to provide rationalization for each board exam type of questions. In connection to this, I want to go back to the main intention why we are doing such videos like this. Nursing test banking is that for you to be familiarized with the rationalization. It doesn't matter how high your score is. Of course, we want that. But for now, what I want you to really focus on is the rationalization parts. Because when the day comes that you will be um, answering the question in the board exam, no matter how they change the question, no matter how they, um, uh, yeah, they change the question and, you know, reuse the question, kahit pagbalik rin, alam mo, kung ano yung tamang sagot because you know by heart what is the rationale. That is the main intention and the main focus why we're doing such videos like this. Okay? So I would also like to evaluate the, uh, the scores of my students. Uh, put your scores down on the comment section below because I want to know how effective this presentation or this discussion to you. No shame, no shame. Pinaghirapan mo yan. Kaya naman ilagay mo na yung score mo sa baba. And wag mong kalimutan na ishare itong video na to sa mga mag test takers natin ngayong darating na board exam para matulungan din sila. Alright? So, let me share to you the instructions for today's video. Alright. So, you will be given 10 board exam type of questions. I'll be reading the questions and the choices for you. You have 5 seconds to answer each question and uh, uh, the answer is revealed instantly after each question with rationalization. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Good luck, nurses. I want you to take this exam as if you're actually taking the actual board. I manifest mo na. Kunwari ito, yung last 10 questions sa PNLE1. You wanna make sure that you got this. You know what I mean? Because that 10 scores, that could save you. That means a lot. You know? You know? Mm. By the way, gusto ko lang share sa inyo na I'll be actually um, launching my podcast video. A podcast. I am launching my podcast sometime probably late this year. And I want to encourage you and invite you to be part of it. Um, that podcast, I don't have the name yet. But 
I only have one intention of the podcast, and that that is to um to empower everybody, to promote wellness, mental health, to talk about mental health, um, to be purposeful, and uh, reaching or uh, what's this? Um, helping you achieve the best you, you know, a motivational type of podcast, um, inspiring, you know what I mean? So, kalma kayo, darating tayo doon, i-announce ko yun, and I hope to see you guys there, All right. So, ito na talaga, first question of the day, nursing board exam type of question, number one, the most appropriate nursing order for a patient who develops dysmia? And shortness of breath would be. Tinatanong ka. Appropriate nursing order for um, patient who develops dyspnea, difficulty of breathing, and shortness of breath. SOB. Ano daw? Is it A. Maintain the patient on strict bed rest at all times. B. Maintain the patient in an orthopnic position as needed. Is it C, administer oxygen by Venturi mask at 24% as needed? Or D, allow uh, an hour of rest period between activities? Nursing intervention mo sa pasyenteng nagdidismia and nage SOB. Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, you guys. What is the answer? Very good. Letter B. Maintain the patient in an orthopnic position as needed. When a patient develops dyspnea and shortness of breath, the orthopnic position encourages maximum chest expansion and keeps abdominal, uh, abdominal organs from pressing against the diaphragm, thus improving ventilation, bed rest, oxygen, and oxygen by Venturi mask. A 24% would improve oxygenation of the tissues and cells, but must be ordered by a physician. Allowing for rest periods decreases the possibility of hypoxia. Malina bayon? Malina. Next. Board exam have a question number two. The nurse observes that Mr. Adams begins to have increased difficulty breathing. She elevates the head of the bed to the high Fowler's position which decreases his respiratory distress. The nurse documents this breathing as, Binigyan ka. Itong tanong na to, binigyan ka ng, tawag dito, uh, clinical presentation. Nilagay mo daw sa how you Fowler's position ang pasyente mo. Tapos, nagdi-decrease pa rin yung RR. At nagdi-distress ang pasyente mo. Paano mo ito-document ito? Anong type of breathing ito? Is it A, tachypnea? Is it B, yupnea? Is it C, orthopnea? Or B, hyperventilation? Or D, hyperventilation? Nerve up second starts now. Time's up, you guys. What is the answer? Remember itong keyword na to. Nilagay mo siya sa position na to. High Fowler's position. The answer is letter C, orthopnea. Alright, bakit? Listen. Orthopnea is difficulty of breathing except in the upright position. Tachypnea is rapid respiration characterized by quick, shallow breaths. Ano yung normal RR mo? 16 to 20. Okay? Yipnea is normal respiration. Quiet, rhythmic, and without effort. Hence the answer is letter C. Alright? By the way, correct ko lang. Normal RR is what? 12 to 16. Cycles per minute. All right. So next, board exam type of question number three. The physician orders a platelet count to be performed on Mrs. Smith after breakfast. The nurse is responsible for. I know responsibility mo before the blood extraction for platelet count. Sa pasyente mo. Is it a instruct the patient without uh, about this diagnostic test? Is it b writing the order for this test? Writing the order? Hmm. Is it C, giving the patient breakfast? Or D, all of the above? Your five seconds starts now.
Time's up. What is the answer? Very good letter. C. Giving the patient breakfast. Bakit? Una sa lahat, hindi mo sasagot yung ano, writing the order. Doktor ka, girl. Nursing responsibility ang tanong. Alam ko na medyo magaling tayo sa mga doktor. Joke, joke, joke. Charis, charis. Pero, hindi mo papangunahan because hindi mo yung job description. Huwag kang ano. Si ang sagot, why? A platelet count evaluates the number of platelets in the circulating blood volume. The nurse is responsible for giving the patient breakfast at the scheduled time. The physician is responsible for instructing the patient about the test and writing the order for the test. Period. Next na tayo, moving on, four. Question number four. Mrs. Mitchell has been given a copy of her diet. The nurse discusses the foods allowed on a 500 milligram low-sodium diet. These include, tinatanong ka, ano-anong pagkain ang pwede mong i-instruct sa pasyente mong naka-500 milligram low-sodium diet? Kahit wala kang idea kung gano karami yung 500 milligram, pero may keyword, low-sodium diet. Kaya mong sagutan itong tanong na ito. Is it a, a ham and Swiss cheese sandwich on a whole wheat bread? Is it B, mashed potatoes and broiled chicken? C, a tossed salad with oil and vinegar and olives? Or D, chicken bouillon? Your five seconds starts now. Okie dokie, time is up with the answer is very good nurses, letter B. Mashed potatoes and broiled chicken. Why? Well, a mashed potatoes and boiled chicken are low in natural sodium chloride. Ham, olives, and chicken bouillon contain large amounts of sodium and are contraindicated on a low sodium diet. Period. For the exam, have a question number five. The physician orders a maintenance dose of 5,000 units of sub-Q heparin, which you all know as anticoagulant, daily. Nursing responsibilities for Mrs. Mitchell now include, tinatanong ka, nursing responsibilities sa isang pasyente na geheparin medication, sub-Q, daily. Is it A, reviewing daily activity, uh, activated partial thromboplastin time, APTT, and thrombin time, PT? Or B, reporting an APTT above 45 seconds to the physician? Or C, assessing the patient for signs and symptoms of frank and occult bleeding? Or D, all of the above? Your five seconds starts now. Time is up. Medyo difficult itong question na to, pero huwag kayo mag-alala. I got you. Anticoagulant. Ang tanong. Nursing responsibility mo sa administration of anticoagulant. The answer is letter D. Very good. All of the above. Now, let me discuss to you. Listen. All of the identified <coughs> Excuse me. All of the identified nursing responsibilities are persistent when a patient is receiving or pertinent when a patient is receiving heparin. <coughs> The normal activated partial thromboplastin time is 16 to 25 seconds, and the normal uh, prothrombin time is 12 to 15 seconds. These levels must remain within 2 to 2 and one half of the normal levels. Or half, or right, one half of the normal levels. All patients receiving anticoagulant therapy must be observed for signs and symptoms of frank and occult bleeding. Including hemorrhage, hypotension, tachycardia, tachypnea, restlessness, pallor, cold and clammy skin, thirst, and confusion. Blood pressure should be measured every four hours and the patient should be instructed to report promptly any bleeding that occurs with tooth, brushing, bowel movements, urination, or heavy prolonged menstruation. Period. Diba? So all of the above is the answer. Next question Nataya. Board exams have a question number four. I mean, number six. The four main concepts common to nursing that appear in each of the current conceptual models are foundation of nursing practice, 
Yan ang tanong. Ano yung four main concept natin sa nursing na lagi mong makikita sa lahat ng mga conceptual models? Is it a person, nursing, environment, medicine? B. Person, health, nursing, support systems. C. Person, health, uh, psychology, nursing. D. Person, environment, health, nursing. Your five seconds starts now. Time's up. Very good kayo dyan. Ito na talaga. Letter D is the answer. Person, environment, health, nursing. The focus concepts that have been accepted by all theorists as the focus of nursing practice from the time of Florence Nightingale include the person receiving nursing care, his environment, his health on the health illness continuum, and the nursing actions necessary to meet his needs. Hence, the answer is letter D. Nako, nangangalahati na nga po tayo sa ating discussion for today. Kumusta ba ang mga scores nyo? Eto na talaga. Proceed na tayo. Board is answer for question number 7. Common question, very simple. In Maslow's hierarchy of physiologic needs, the human need of greatest priority is ano ang greatest priority ng isang tao according sa Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Is it A, love? Is it B, elimination? Is it C, nutrition? Or D, oxygen? Your five seconds starts now. Sasapukin ko kayo. Time's up. Sa lahat na mga sumagot ng love, you are so hopeless romantic. Charing. Sa lahat ng sumagot ng elimination, maaaring constipated ka. Sa lahat ng mga sumagot ng nutrition, patay gutom ka. Dahil ang tamang sagot po dito is letter D. Oxygen. Very good. Now, Maslow, who defined a need as a satisfaction whose absence causes illness, considered oxygen to be the most important physiologic need. Without it, human life could not exist. According to this theory, other physiologic needs such as uh, food, water, elimination, shelter, rest and sleep, activity, and temperature regulation must be met before proceeding to the next hierarchical levels on psychosocial needs. Ito ang halimbawa ng Maslow's mo. Ito o, itong pyramid na to. Very famous yan sa nursing. So, alam mo na. So, oxygen po ang tamang sagot. Okay. All right. Let's proceed. Board exam time for question number eight. The family of an accident victim who has been declared brain dead, Brenda, seems amenable to organ donation. What should the nurse do? Oh, may isa kang presenteng na, let's say, na car accident. Brain dead na declare. And their amenable, the family seems to be what? Amenable for organ donation. Ano ang responsibility mo as a nurse? Is it A, discourage them from making a decision until their grief has eased? O nawala na yung grief, yung pagluluksa. Is it D, listen to their concerns and answer their questions honestly? C, encourage them to sign the consent form right away. Mamadali ka, girl. Or D, tell them the body will not be available for a wake or funeral. Your five seconds starts now. Very psycho psychology. Tell me more. Kaya ang sagot is B. Listen to their concern and answer their questions honestly. Why? The brain dead patient's family needs support and reassurance in making a decision about organ donation. Because transplants are done within hours of death, decisions about organ donation must be made as soon as possible. However, the family's concern must be addressed before members are asked to sign a consent form. The body of an organ donor is available for burial. All right. Okay, okay. Last two questions. Make this one count. All right. Question number nine. A new head nurse on a unit is distressed about the poor staffing on the 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. shift. What should she do? Ito, nursing management type of question. 
Is it a complaint to her fellow nurses? Is it be wait until she knows more about the unit? D. Discuss the problem with her supervisor or D. Inform the staff that they must volunteer to rotate. Your five seconds starts now. Time is up. What is the answer? Very good. Letter C. Discuss the problem with her supervisor. Communication is the key. Why? Although a new head nurse should initially spend time observing the unit for its strengths and weakness, she should take action if a problem threatens patient safety. In this case, the supervisor is a resource person to approach. Okie doke. All right. Last questions na tayo. Make this one count. Ito na bago ko basahin. Mag-uunat muna ako. Okay. Board exam type of question number 10. Which of the following principles of primary nursing has proven the most satisfying to the patient and nurse? Principles of primary nursing. Which is proven to be satisfying to the patient and the nurse? Both. Is it a continuity, oh, continuity, continuity of patient care promotes efficient, cost-effective nursing care. B. Autonomy and authority for planning are best delegated to a nurse who knows the patient well. C. Accountability in clearest when, um, I mean, is clearest when one nurse is responsible for the overall plan and its implementation. Or D. The holistic approach provides for all therapeutic relationship, continuity, and efficient nursing care. Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, you guys. What is the answer? Very good. Holistic approach provides for the therapeutic relationship, continuity, and efficient nursing care. Pag nakakita ka ng mga holistic na yan, nako, nako, hindi naman lahat ha, pero madalas. May mga holistic, holistic, nako, yan, malamang sa alamang yan ang sagot. Pero explain ko sa inyo bakit. Di ang tamang sagot, you guys, bakit? Studies have shown that patients and nurses both respond well to primary nursing care units. Patients feel less anxious and isolated and more secure because they allow or they are allowed to participate in planning their own care. Nurses feel personal satisfaction, much of it related to positive feedback from the patients. They also seem to gain a greater sense of achievement in a spirit, the corpse. All right? Diyan na nga natatapos ang ating discussion for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned something. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do. Comment it down below. Abangan mo nga yung upload natin this Friday because it's going to be fun. Now, tulungan nyo na nga ako, ipamalitan nyo na sa Radyong Sira, ang pinakabago, pinaka-fresh at ang pinakalibreng nursing review center sa balat ng YouTube. And I'll see you again on Friday, same time, same channel. And please make sure that you follow me in all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gave except for my technical account, which is Neil Gave Official. Like, share, and subscribe to my Facebook page. It is Neil Gave. I will see you again on Friday. Have a good one.